Hey guys, we're back with the letter. When we last left off, we were switched to Hannah's perspective. And I think the game's gonna a little bit better. So, uh, we're, we're about to, oh, looks like we already got it. Wait, it's not highlighted in red, so have we got it? Huh. Because usually there'd be like the red line, you know? Oh, maybe it's. So you really want to buy this place then? There it is, okay. It sends you back a line for whatever reason. We saw that last time. Let's get started. That's a bit of a big impulse buy, even coming from you. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. So tell me this guy isn't evil. Tell me that. I feel elation when I hear those words from him. It's done every day one is able to please someone like Luke. He gives away false flattery to sway those who strive for his attention of and approval. But in the privacy of closed doors, he would often express his grievances. He neither censors himself in front of me, nor spared me from his criticism. You have been saying the Pentas was getting a bit too small for you. Happy anniversary! Oh. That time of the year already? I like that sprite. I forgot about it last year, too. I understand that he's a busy man. Is that why you want to buy it? Yes, you don't like it. I do. These sprites are a lot more expressive than the... 3D ones. But I remember you used to talk about how you wanted to live next to the beach. Well, I, I guess the 3D ones are more expressive in a like, moving way, but. Botany Bay, Kent, I think it was. Remember the sea? Water the church on for miles and miles, as far as the eyes could see. As a kid, I loved our beach trips, swimming all day as much as I could. As a well behaved child, the only time I was ever truly difficult was. When I refused to get out of the waters, even when my fingers had gone all, all wrinkly. Even when they managed to pull me out of the water, there's always sand castles. The day before we were married, I told Luke I wanted a house on a beach and a dog. And a kid or two. None of those came true, seven years later. That was a childish dream. Living next to the beach is so impractical if you really think about it. I don't know. It's not a bad thought to see you in a bathing suit every day. Ooh, nice one, Luke. Keep at it and one day you might be married. Hey oh. Maybe another time, love. We still have forever, don't we? Yeah, you're not immortal. You only have like uh, you're thirty, so just like like fifty more years. I think the average life expectancy for a man is seventy-five, and for a woman it's eighty. I believe. It's been a while since I've even you know thought about that, but it's around there. It says nothing. I'm like grabbing my hand and holding it tight, so we spend the rest of the ride home in silence. Miss the sea. Sick and hovering over the loo at 3 in the morning. The picture I paint right now is hardly glamorous. The loo. Okay. Horrible fishy taste is left in my mouth as it as I throw up what I had for dinner. Get the accurate stench that fills the lavatory. Burning sensation in the back of my throat is no help of it whatsoever. I feel another wave of nausea come up on me when the door opens. Hannah, what are you doing so early out of bed? I'm fine, love. I must have just eaten something bad. That's all I managed to say before vomiting again into the per porcelain throne. Lovely. Just go back to bed, Luke. I'm going to clean up here. I refuse to look at him. I don't want him to see me like this. Last time I've had a horrible morning retching into the toilet was during my college years, before the life of the party. So as we all know, if a woman ever throws up in any piece of media, it's because she's pregnant. That wasn't shameless, I'd thrown away months to frivolous merriment and pointless hookups. I didn't even retain any of the connections I made from that time. Sure, they still know of me and I know of, still know of them. We still do business from time to time. But I've lost touch with anyone who I didn't see on a daily basis. I hardly have any of the friends I had when I was still Hannah Evans. Teachers, fellow university students, shrinky buddies, and old conquests like Jack. No, don't touch me, sweetie. It's disgusting. Movement. I'm disgusting. Luke sits down next to me on the toilet floor. Hold my hair even as I cough up more fish. Wipes the vomit from the corner of my mouth and just stares. Do I need to fire someone? I don't feel sick. Just feeling a bit under the weather, dear. It's been unbearably hot as of late, hasn't it? I do wish it would rain. Are you sure it wasn't those sweets? <laughs> I told you not to eat those sweets. <laughs> I want to protect that smile. <laughs> Maybe. Well, don't laugh. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> I can't help if you make that sort of face. <laughs> you can't see her face. He's directly behind her. <laughs> he starts chucking, and soon enough, he's in a fit of laughter. Is that supposed to be chuckling? Or chucking? Is that is that even a verb? Like, throwing? He's throwing something? Chucking... That means, like, throwing. Like, you chuck the snowball at him. This scene happens next to a loop filled with sick, just makes the whole thing bizarre. It mainly makes me start giggling as well. I try to stifle it through. They smack him on the shoulder. I'm not making a face, Luke. Stop laughing. Shut up. <laughs> when you're not stop laughing, let myself go as laughter bubbles from your own throat. I forget whatever ill feelings plagued me. We're just husband and wife, laughing together at a funny face. Little things in life. So Luke can have fun. Let myself go because I know that these moments will not last forever. But if I know the terrible things that are to come for us, does he always wear a suit? Like this is three in the morning, isn't it? Oh, who wears a suit to bed? <laughs> I would have wished with everything I have then and there that the laughter stayed. Oh, ominous. Up uh, higher! Come on now. It's the twenty-sixth. When did Isabella die? The twenty-third. Oh, do you think there's a journal entry for Isabella dying? Uh, during the open house, Anna pressured estate agents to sell, man sell her the mansion. The Wrights also met their interior designer. During their ride home, Anna Hannah revealed the, man the mansion as their anniversary gift to Luke. Things seemed to be looking good until Anna suddenly felt a little bleeder that night. And, uh, 23rd? 23rd or 24th? 24th, okay. So two days after Isabella supposedly died. Plus is bustling with movers, carrying furnishings here and there, along with several trunks of personal belongings taken from our penthouse. Luke watches them like a hawk, making sure nothing is handled carelessly if it's stolen. Careful now! I know your pictures are framed by cheap plastic, but those are framed by African Blackwood and are one-of-a-kind commissioned paintings. Cheap plastic! Each one is easily worth a lifetime of what you lot make. Luke, do the dishwashers go into the kitchen or the butler's pantry? Pantry, buttercup. Careful, that's a mah- No, no, you there, put that down. You do not manhandle a Napoleon Abueva. A what? I can see the ex exasperation. I have to send the foreman in a, an apologetic glance. Even Johan's girls' eyes as it goes by. But look, you, you're not convincing me that's not a J. Considering Luke is always like this during a project, Johan's and I have gotten used to it. Or is the butler going to die? You can't kill the butler. Poor Marianne, on the other hand, looks a bit stressed with seeing the gigantic mess before quickly going back to work. Everything just has to be perfect, exactly the way he wants it. One little thing out of place, one little thing that didn't fit the image he clearly constructed in his head, Luke could spend out of shape. Sweetie, why don't we go and sort your suits upstairs? Let your Hans and Marianne and the foreman deal with the rest of the work. We have this, Mrs. Wright. Yes, please do go before a blood vessel bursts. Blood stains are so troublesome to clean. Taking him by the hand, I lead him upstairs into our bedroom. This place has been arranged first so that we can get some rest, no matter what state the rest of the mansion is in. I'm definitely glad I could just lie down on a soft, comfy bed after what has been a busy morning. Watching Luke act like his life depended on getting this move done is tiring all on its own. I think I have a whole day of this ahead of me. Oh, hold on, I want to see something. How many endings are there? Uh, that's three. Assuming, I I assume that's how it works. There's three, like, routes. I'm going to assume those are bad ends, but I'll, we're going to metagame it now, right? Like, because we just know, make the last, well, we don't actually, this could be like, um, what was it? Was it? Yeah, it was this one. We didn't get to choose. It was just a course of our decisions because we chose to talk to the professor. Feel the bed dip beside me as Luke sits down with the sun. Well, I can't wait for this to be over. I don't know. It's fun seeing you all fired up. Here at home and not at work, you know. You know I can't always be home, Hana. I have a company to run, unless you've forgotten. Oh, you own the company? I haven't forgotten. You're the one who insists on being there to make sure each and every little thing is under control. I just... I just really miss you sometimes, and I wish you were at home more often. Why, if you're not careful, I might go a bit loopy and I'll start bringing cats home. 
And soon enough, one day you'll find yourself going home to a farm just filled with felines that follow you everywhere. Oh, don't bluff. The things would shred up your precious furniture. Besides, you don't even like cats. True, true. Dogs are infinitely superior, of course. But what about the wet dog smell? The mess? I'm not cleaning up after a mutt, no matter how cute. If you think about it, a cat would be better. <laughs> <laughs> we laugh. You know, all these people, they're like, you know, dogs and cats are cool, but I'm not really into animals. Like, like, I don't, if I see a dog, I'm like, oh, cool, dog, you know? But I wouldn't want to own a dog or a cat. It's not always that we can just lie down and talk about these sort of things. To joke around, it's for a teenager skin. Very little problem in the way of responsibilities and roles. Tears genuine, honest to goodness laughter is a rarity. This is just the second time as of late. I can only see the signs of good things to come. All good points. I guess we could just have kids. That is, if you prefer dealing with soil nappies and sick as opposed to dead birds, mice, and litter boxes. I've already told Marianne about turning the second bedroom into a children's room. I guess sometimes. Don't know when I'm crossing a line. But this time I'm a good comedian, did I? Not this again. What? I... I wasn't being serious. She already has to deal with one kid. Ayo! It's not something you take the piss out of. Having a kid is a big responsibility, Hannah. We've talked about this, haven't we? We, I'm not ready to be a parent. I'd probably end up killing the little brat by the week's end. Uh, what should I say? I don't know, because, look, she's totally pregnant. You gotta get ready for it. Uh, okay, get, let's see where we're at. Where? Carly likes you well enough. Oh, hey, it worked. Mention of my little god daughter places a conflicted look on his face. Sometimes it's cute when he denies having a so soft spot for the little girl. But then, sometimes it's sad. It makes me wonder what happened to make him think so poorly of himself in this regard. Yes, well, it's Kylie. The tyke likes everybody and, on the off chance she doesn't, likes them well enough as long as they buy her sweets. And sure, that kid is great. But if I get tired of her, I can ship her back to her father at the end of the day. Having kids of our own will be a whole different monster entirely. I've never heard of him talk about his father in anything but a business context. I recall Damien Wright kept caring about him for my own father, even before I met Luke. The business world praised him for earning a tight ship, until one mistake led to a great loss for the Enterprise. It was then that news of Luke Wright, prodigy son and successor to the old man, started to show up, and he aided in his recovery and growth until the Great Recession. Getting a bit off track. Regardless, I've never heard him talk about his father like one would talk about family. I think you'll be a great father. There's a smile. I wonder how, how half-hearted it may be. I do really think that. Might not be a good, honest man. Part of me knows that, though I try to silence it. But I don't look well enough that he'll be a better father than either Damien or Henry Higgins. Love my father, but he never had the time. If it is any consolation, I think you'd be a decent mother. <laughs> On the other hand, never heard of his mother. Silence settles, both comfortable and uncomfortable. There's a familiarity in each other's company despite the awkwardness that I'm inspired. Defenses and masks down, but anyone else looking, we're both together and alone in this world. But a crash from downstairs startled us both from my, of our own, of our livery. Luke lets out a heavy sigh before coming up to his feet and straightening his jacket. I'll have to attend to that then. Be good, darling. And watch out for your blood pressure. We're about to die, aren't we? Check it out, check it out. Oh no. Oh, well, what's this? So, they're optional scenes? Gives me a kiss on the cheek before leaving, while I lay there in a daze. Alone, as per usual. Journal update, 26th. The right couple moved to the, their newly bought mansion today and was already preparing for a housewarming party. During a short break, the couple had a brief discussion about children. Luke didn't sound too welcoming of the idea. Really should be used to it by now. You can feel the minutes tick by when just lying there, feeling miserable and full of self pity. Hold on a second. It skips dates, right? Or Okay, it skips the 19th and the 20th. I was just wondering, are we going to end up playing on the 25th? Or will everything take place after this event now? Because I imagine the, uh, at least some of the other characters, well, like 
you know, Zachary, Rebecca, and Ashton will end up coming to the mansion at some point to kill the ghost. Turns out bullets don't work on ghosts, but they can try. We're going over to the, to the side of my stomach at this point, with my face buried into the pillows when there's a knock at the door. Grumbling at them to go away doesn't work as a voice comes from the other side. Madam, the photographer from Luxury Living is here. Wait, is that today? Oh, yes. People have caught one of our new mansion, the very moment we left the open house. Luke had boasted he could acquire the property in no time, and allowed a photo shoot for an interior design magazine to be scheduled today. Well, there were complications, and it took longer than it usually does for In us. a minute, Hunzi! Johannes, if you could at least make it through the end. Tell them I'll be right down, Hunzi! She doesn't respect people's names. The mansion grounds have been one of the first things to be fixed up, aside from the bedroom. Although it's still a work in progress, they're a promising start. I can already see the flower patches. Luke's favorite daffodils stand out easily, having one transplanted from the pots that used to litter the rooftop of her penthouse. Right, if the movie crew thought that Luke was being hard on them, they clearly didn't see the landscaper on his way out. The man looked like he was ready to faint. Luke seemed ready to kill him at the end of their discussion. It's in the gardens. Oh, who's this? Then I see him standing near the flowers in quiet admiration. He works for. Was that a magazine or a newspaper? I forget. It's hard to miss. The whole coming around that clearly did not belong. The big black, the big ba backpack and suitcase he had with him makes him look all, all the much larger. It's a peculiar sight. Seeing someone who looks like he does handling little delicate things with such care. He looks up from the guard and does a double take before a friendly face replaces his serene expression. Miss Wright, yeah? Hi, uh, Zachary Steele here from Luxury Living, ma'am. Hope you weren't waiting too long. But it looks like you're still moving in, huh? Thought for a second there my calendar was wrong and I came here too early. The one and only. Welcome, welcome to Maison de Right. Mansion de Right. Uh, I speak French. Is it, you want to keep the D. That, that's French, right? Though, like, duh. I don't speak languages. And yes, we've been in the process of moving in as we were delayed. But it won't be a problem. They're just adding a few things here and there, and you should still be able to do your work. She said and, but this says but. Does this voice actress even know what she- No, 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 no. Where's the rest of your crew then, Mr. Steele? Zack is fine, please. Mr. Steele makes me feel like I'm a mascot for a cleaning product. Anyway, I'll be your one-man crew for today. Don't worry, been doing this gig for a while now. I don't really know, but I imagine a lot of people are kind of harsh on English voice actors. Oh, wait, we didn't get these scenes for some reason. And I mean, uh, what was I thinking? Yeah, you're in English voice acting. So I mean, I, I feel like critiquing them, you know, you gotta, you can't, you don't, you know, eh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's kind of an issue. You must be quite the veteran to handle this on your own. We've had a full crew coming into our penthouse the last time we were covered in your magazine. Veteran? Oh, you, your words are too kind, Miss Wright. Hana, if I get to call you Zack, you have my permission to call me Hana. Alrighty then. Anyway, I'm no veteran, but I know my camera well enough to make sure this is a good shoot. You can trust me on that, Miss Wright. Hana. That proves quickly enough that I can, in fact, trust him. Monsieur Le Photographe. His skills with the camera and experience in this industry, at the very least. What? What updated there? The tree? No, the relationship? Journal? Was that just an achievement then? He's kind and courteous, listening and following as he lead him around the house. That's gotta be just a achievement you get just for getting to this point, right? Because. I don't think there's getting around the fact that Zachary comes to the mansion and takes photos. Shoots our household staff well, never recross paths with them. Answers questions to the best of my ability, he's patient enough to answer mine whenever I get curious enough. For one, I ask what the bags are for. They're quite the magician's toolkit. From inside, I prepared several items to embellish the interior with. Bowls of fruit, lemons, trays with pepper mills, stacks of cookbooks, Cutting boards with glass canisters filled with colorful nuts and grains are brought in for the, the kitchen setting. For the bathroom, there are white towels, seashells, and decorative soaps. There are other things as well, numerous to count, all in that large backpack and suitcase. Tricks of the trade. 
softens up a room, makes a place feel more homey, and fills it up with texture. But you guys probably have better stuff I can use for this. No lights? Don't tell me all of these are just props. Well, I've got my tripod here. For things like these, natural light is best. I'll just have to set the shutter speed to a real slow setting, and as long as nobody steps into the shot, it'll look great. Oh, it better. We go through the rooms one at a time, although we first tackle the ones that the movers have no business in anymore. The volume room needs a little preparation with its grand design. Although there is some trouble at first, with the wide open space and the pictures being backlit. It is in the kitchen that Zachary's props come in handy. Considering how Johan's kept the place so neat and sterile, one could practically eat well off the floor. Oh yeah, this is a horror visual novel, isn't it? Where's, where's the ghost at? We carry on, touring the house and taking pictures where we can. With exceptions to the room we have yet to gain for any purpose or design. Too bad I can't take a sneak peek at his photos yet. Funnily enough, he's using a, a traditional camera. I didn't even know films that still existed. The way he speaks, however, I can see that he knows enough about his craft that I'm not too worried about botched photographs. Imagine photogra photography, photography must be cathartic for him, judging by how much, how at ease he looks while taking pictures. There's small snippets of conversation in between the clicking of the camera. He even goes as far as to talk about these terminologies like shutter speeds and aperture when I ask about the technical aspects. Can't quite see the picture as it's made, much like when I watch artists paint on their canvas. Or just watching someone passionately practicing their craft such as this is exciting in its own one, on its own way. Going through the many rooms has been quite the exercise for the both of us. Despite that, I find it so nice, I find myself putting on my best smile. You guys know how, uh, sometimes when you're reading, you just don't, like, you start thinking about something else, and you're still reading, but you don't process the words? That sometimes happens to me when I'm reading. It almost happened there. I just think that's really weird how that happens. Like, I, I could be speaking the words out loud, but I, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but it says we're taking pictures in the foyer that everything so comes to a standstill for a moment. Just a moment. I have not been paying attention. I would have, would have even noticed. She has a... Um, it's a really split second when Zachary's rhythm is put to a halt. His finger doesn't move to release the shutter. And he also doesn't pull the camera away from his face. He's still firmly fixed through the viewfinder. Oh! Does he know about Isabella's death yet? Or disappearance, at least? It's handshake, and there's a light sheen of sweat on his forehead. Zachary! No response. Zach, is something the matter? Oh yeah, everything's cool. Lowering his camera, he blinks and stares at something behind him before shaking his head. Turning around, though, I see nothing that could have gotten his attention. Oh, oh no, no, there, 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 there's nothing wrong. I, I just remembered something I saw. Uh, let's get back to the pictures. Can you move a bit more to the left, yeah? Struggle to respond this time. There's a sudden weight on my back and an indescribable tightness around my throat. Everything stops. Everything starts again as it manages to choke If out. you're sure. I don't know what just happened. It was probably a dizzy spell. Are we still at the... Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, we're... A bit far away from the branch. I'm fine. And he said he's fine. Continuing at the same pace as before, although there's an unspo unspoken agreement that we will not talk about what happened. So, is this a full-time job for you then? Oh yeah, let's just not talk about the ghost. That, that's probably... Just don't acknowledge it and it can't kill you. Nah, I just freelance mostly. For magazines, newspapers, and events. So you can't really call it a full-time job. It's fun and it puts food on the table, but it's not what I really want to do. At least, not all the time. What is it that you want to do then? Well, we've been out of line, sticking my nose into other people's business, but I can't help but ask. I regret doing so, so I can see a shorter slump. The easygoing area has fade fades away. It looks torn over whether he wants to talk about it Films. Documentaries, mostly. But cinematography is a lot more difficult than photography, right? I was working on this thing, actually. What thing? Well, it wasn't really a big thing. People didn't like Blue Foncy very much. People don't like a film about colors. I suppose they would have liked Blue Bibby a lot more. I don't... Look, I speak American. I don't get these jokes. Very funny. So, Grand Director, do you want to tell me what Blue Foncy is all about? He hesitates. When I refuse to budge on the matter, he gives an explosive what it's all about. Blue Fontaine Lehers, La Plus Summer des Nord's Britannic Cues. That's my French voice. I'm sorry, French people. And really everyone. Not just French people. I'm sorry. 
Dark Blue, the darkest hours of the Black British. He speaks with passion of one, of, of one who has gone through the very matter he is concerned with. There's conviction, knowledge, and experience in his speech. Why, I would have told him that he's an amazing speaker, if only I wasn't so engrossed listening. Prejudice and discrimination in schools and in the workplace. Lesser chances for opportunity and higher chances of being treated like a criminal. He spoke of blacks and people of color in general, still being treated like second class citizens. All because of the color of his skin. And it's all just positively ripping. Instead, it comes to a point when he still loses steam, looks abashed, realizing what he had just done. Sorry, I just got so carried away and. It's fine. It is really so fascinating to watch people talk about their passion after all. You should see how your eyes light up when you speak so fiercely. You do have very beautiful eyes. Uh huh. Thanks. I guess. I want to say that I understand where he's coming from. But I really don't, do I? I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I lived a charming life. It hasn't been perfect, but the difficulties have been through pales in comparison to what of his experiences experience on a daily basis. I certainly don't know how I would have fared were it any different. What he still have met Luke and what he still have loved me as far as What was your home like? These things you talk about. It sounds like you. Well, I don't mean to pry. I'm. Hmm? Live with my older sister and my grandparents. We had a shop selling all sorts of things below our pop. Sorry, flat. And well, I was one of the few non white, non British students in class. I didn't get pushed around or anything straight up. Even then, I was one of the biggest kids around. Do they call the apartments flats and. I, I assume this is Britain. But a pencil and notebook would go missing, you know? Oh, that I knew. Children can be so cruel at times. Of course, maybe slightly diff a slightly different sto story when you have personal guides. Stolen items not a pencil, but an expensive hair So what about you? How you liking your new house? It's pretty impressive. It's nice, I suppose. <laughs> you suppose? Not big enough? What? No, oh, don't be a bully. It's just that. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. As a little girl, old dolled up and treated like fragile porcelain, with the nursemaids waiting to be hand and foot. All the material possessions anyone could ever want, could ask for on a whim, would be handed to me just like that. But I barely saw my parents, just goodbye kisses in the morning before they went off to who knows where they need, were needed next. I saw them more often on the telly or in the papers than I ever did in person. I remember my old house. It was a lot like this one. Big walls and big holes, but nobody in it. Not really. It makes you think how alone you are. Pensive mood overcomes us. There's a moment where neither of us are sure how to get, go out of your beer. Hey, it's just me, Luke, and this ghost in the beer. And behind me, strangling me. <laughs> all fun. Things have gotten a bit too personal. It, it, isn't, it isn't wholly uncomfortable. Like as if we've been friends before. Well, that's normal, ain't it? You just moved here. You'll make home out of it yet. Certainly makes it easy to believe that. Yeah, <laughs> you have a couple days till you die. Isabella, she had, uh, how many days did she have? She had, she had three days, see? You know, she had the 21st, and then she got back the 22nd, 23rd, 20th, see? Childhood house is indeed a lot like this one. Just as large and extravagant. And just as empty. Hope he's right. So, Monsieur Le Photograph. You've covered the one and only Ermengarde Mansion. What's next on the agenda? The interview? Boring. It's an interior design and housing magazine. And they want to know what Miss Wright has to say about her interior design and house. Honor Wright thinks she bought a magnificent house that she can certainly brag about. Blah, blah. Boring. You know what they should print more of? I watched an interesting documentary the other day. Blue Fonsi, The Darkest Hours of the Black British. I recommend you watch it. Those are the things that people should know about. What do they care if I use a purple or green bowl of fruit in my kitchen? Well, I mean, that's pretty important because, you know, the green one that's like nature, but the purple one that's like mysterious. You see? People, right? We. Oui. People are shite. What do you think? Do I look good with this angle? Strike a pose while he's being busy, looking taken aback for a moment, probably not expecting me to just go and say such a crass word. But he recovers quickly, and after stepping a few shots, he grins. Yeah, vous êtes belle. Look, I speak American. I don't. I don't know what these words mean. You want copies of these ones? Yes, please. I've already made that joke once this episode. Don't make me do it again. So the big boy knows French. You must have wooed a few ladies. 
unless you're into gents. Either way, French is, after all, the language of romance. Oh, I don't know about quoting fancy poetry, but I've made lunch for a girl before. And can you cook oh. your best? I can cook just about anything as long as I know the recipe. Say money, speak. Look, that, that's not... Say money, speak. No, that's... Say money, speak. You didn't even make a T sound. That's just... Manifakik. Manifakiu. Manifakiu. Sest Manifakiu. She's pronouncing it all wrong. Lee's certainly not a good friend. Although we've just met, Zachary's the sort of probably prefer to anyone. She's a comfortable person to be around. A bit too comfortable. Uh, okay, I'll call it there. Uh, yeah. Where? Still here. Looks like next time we could get to the branch. Like the first one. Or is it the second one? Have we had a branch yet? Oh, we've had a branch. So, yeah. Uh, and it's rather it's more interesting than Isabella's, at least. Uh, I describe as Isabella as, like, one dimensional, and Hannah's, like, 1.5 dimensional. That's, like, almost a whole 2D. Well, well her sprite's three dimensional, though. Get it? Get it? <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.